Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Okay, here we go. Thank you for checking out my Batman Arkham Knight PlayStation 4 unboxing video. I've never done anything like this. Um, I'm super excited. It's about a week after the original ones hit the market. Uh, this is a birthday gift from my dad. So basically, uh, he ordered it, but it took a, it took a week. I guess they, they, they were back ordered. So let's check it out. Here we go. We got the Batman PS4 over $55 in extra value. And of course, let's stretch it out and talk as much as we possibly can. $55 value based on MSRP Batman Arkham Knight $59.99. Batman PlayStation 4. So that's on the front, on the side, and I don't know if we can make this out. It says um, DualShock Wireless Controller, and I don't have a PlayStation 4. This is, this is, I've had a PlayStation 3 for a long time, um, but it says HDMI cable, AC power cord, mono headset. That's what I was kind of curious about. What, what is the mono headset for? Online playing, I guess? You could play the game without interrupting if you have a roommate or something like that. But. A spouse. Um, be the Batman. As United Forces of Gotham supervillains villains take control of the city, the Dark Knight unleashes a new transformable Black Batmobile and explosive finale to the Arkham Trilogy. Okay, so is it, uh, how games are meant to sound. Your enemies may not hear you coming, but you can hear them like never before. With the Gotham City comes alive with PlayStation headsets, featuring a custom audio mode for Batman Arkham Knight. And the PlayStation exclusives come with the Scarecrow Nightmare Missions, the Justice League 3000 Batman, the classic TV series Batman, which uh, for those of you who are fans of the series, I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you are. Uh, that was a skin, uh, that was only a combat only skin, but you could do that in um, Batman Arkham Origins, which was made by a different company. And the classic TV Batmobile skin for the Batmobile. So let's see. <laughs> Let's get this sucker open, shall we? Okay, found a rather crude instrument. Uh, I should have been a little bit better prepared for this video. I'm a little excited, so I didn't have a chance to go look at the, uh, to go look for a blade. Now let's get this sucker open. Okay, so right out the box. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have, well, no, it's not the standard PlayStation. It's the PlayStation with the, the gunmetal gray emblem on it. Okay, so this was all just, the whole box, useless, nothing else in it, but, you know, looks cool. Oh, sorry. Knocked right into my uh, wind chimes over here. Okay, so this is kind of cool. It's kind of exciting over here. That's the usual DTS Java-powered, um, what do you call that, Area 1? Zone one for the uh, okay hand. There we go. A little handle. Pop it open. All right, there we go. Uh, so you're supposed to open up like so, upside down. Ooh, and look at that! Look at that! Oh my god! I know usually I usually make fun of unboxing videos where guys get all like excited and stuff like that, but this is this is a beautiful thing. Um, you know, I've always been a fan of the PlayStation. Um, never had an Xbox, always had a PlayStation 1. My brother actually, my brother had a PlayStation 1. That's how I got a hold of my first one. And it was absolutely awesome. And of course, PlayStation 2, 2 I had gotten a week or so after. Uh, once again, just like, uh, just like this, I got it pretty much a week after it came out. So let's move the box out of the way. And I really should have moved those wind chimes. Okay, so here we go. We got the PlayStation 4 and the Batman PlayStation 4 game, which you know, uh, like the PlayStation 3 can play Blu-ray play Blu-ray discs. I remember when the PlayStation 3 came out, people did the math and it was like cheaper to buy a PlayStation 3 instead of paying $1,200 for a, a controller. All right, so here's the controller, and I don't know something's going on outside with my neighbor, so. That's the the reader or whatever. I've, I've never played with one. I mean, I've seen it in a store. There's some sort of like touchpad here. You know, the controllers. Of course, it feels like a controller. It's a little more separate than what I'm used to. 
as, if, as to holding the share button, option button, PlayStation button. Oh, I didn't mean to. I hit the PlayStation button, and I guess hitting it makes it do that. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, so let's put that off to the side. I really should have been a little bit better prepared with the, uh, the wind chimes. I didn't realize I'd be banging into them. And just before we get to the piece de resistance, okay, we got, yeah, plug. Yeah, just being thorough here, people. Here is the mono headset. Okay, HDMI cable. I'm really surprised Sony didn't design their own. Sony's so known to being um, proprietary with their stuff. I'm surprised they didn't have like one end be just for the PlayStation and the other end for the HDMI cable. Instruction booklet and charging cord. Now, I'm a little shocked because I thought this was going to be the gunmetal gray Batman edition. I guess I was wrong, but hey, it's still a fucking PlayStation 4. So let's, uh, let's get this out of the way. And of course, on the top, I don't know if you can see it, but the camera says HDMI Dolby Blu-ray disc. At the back end, you have... I can't even read. I don't even know what the hell that is. I'm, I'm, I'm usually good with my, you know, adapters. Oh, it says auxiliary. Auxiliary right there. And I worked there for Radio Shack for years. You'd think I'd know what the hell that is. That's probably some Sony proprietary thing. Auxiliary. LAN. I'm pretty sure it has Wi-Fi. HDMI out. Digital optical. Does anyone ever use digital optical? If so, leave a message in the comments. And of course, the plug. Turning it around. Let me see. I don't know if any of this. I could have sworn something. I thought one of these panels would come out. Uh, but, you know, pretty sweet. And already I got my fingerprints all over it. Let's buff that all out. Ooh. Shall we? Incredible, incredible. So, okay, here's the game that comes with it. PlayStation exclusive Rocksteady. They make awesome fucking games. Or at least the Batman Arkham games are fucking awesome. Be the Batman. Not for resale. Rated M for blood language and suggestive violence. And once again, it's been a week. I haven't been... It's, I haven't had a chance to... Luckily, no one has spoiled it for me on the internet yet who the Arkham Knight is. And I will not do that for anybody else. I will not spoil it. Powered by Wise, the way the other games were. 49 gigabyte minimum. 1080p HDMI output. Remote play, which means you can play this on the um, the Vita. Dual Shock 4. So, that's about it. Um, I'm pretty sure the games will probably come loaded on there, I, I thought. Or maybe in here, there'll probably be some sort of codes or something I gotta put in. So, uh, thanks for watching my Batman Arkham Edition PlayStation 4 unboxing. Don't be a stranger.